Right now, the first Mercado on 5th of the season is wrapping up. Maddie Fran shows us how this event is about more than just selling food. The rain is coming down in Moline, but the fiesta at Mercado is still on. Bring your umbrella, bring your backups, but we're here and we're ready to serve you. Nearly 50 vendors braved the weather to serve up food, desserts and gifts. Yeah, it was a great time and we enjoyed it. That's why we decided to come back this year. Making me nervous. This is Antojitos Mexicano's second year at Mercado. Oscar Sanchez is the owner's son. We have like a, a lot of people who like come and they've never had like a mangonada or something like this and they don't realize what it is until they try it and then they actually really enjoy it. It's not just about old favorites, but new opportunities. El Riconcito de Arte, the art corner here at Mercado, and hopefully they'll have the opportunity to sell their pieces here too, just like our vendors out on the uh, out on the street. Francis Williams became executive director of Mercado in February. This isn't just about our organization, it's not just about me or anybody on the team. This is about the community and what it means to be a Latino or Hispanic here in the Quad Cities. Sí. And while Oscar is serving dessert, he brings people just a bit closer. I feel like it just gives everybody something to do on Friday nights and really unites the community. Even with a rainy first Friday, Mercado is just getting started. Gracias, que le vaya bien. In Moline, Maddie Franz, WQAD News 8. And Francis says 20% of Mercado's vendors are new this year. We have a list of all the vendors you can see this year on our website, wqad.com.